Well, Nick Hudson is one of our most popular correspondents, if you want to call it that. He is the co-founder of Panda, and lots has been happening since we last spoke, Nick. You've come in for a bit of heat. Some of your members of your scientific board who have resigned off the board, what's going on? It has been a, a very, very intense month and a bit since the Biz News presentation that went viral and catapulted Panda into the international domain in a way that we hadn't experienced before. We started picking up a very nasty strain of allegations that Panda was an anti-vax organization. Nothing could be further from the truth. Our policy is up on our website. We support the use of safe and efficacious vaccines as part of a focus protection strategy for dealing with the epidemic. But it's a very black and white brush that people are painting the world with at the moment. And if you are asking questions about safety or the appropriateness of mass vaccination programs as opposed to focus protection strategies, then there are people out there who will do nothing other than cast you as anti-vax. And what is anti-vax? Well, I mean, anti-vax, as I have always understood it, is a kind of fringe lunatic view that says that vaccines of all sorts are either dangerous or immoral or have some or other adverse impacts. What happened to the members, to get back to that original question, yes. of the scientific board? Well, two newspapers in the UK started contacting them directly with allegations that Panda was anti-vax. It was a pretty much a coordinated campaign, writing directly to the members of the board, threatening to publish articles linking them to anti-vax movements. The next morning, we swung into gear, consulted with our attorneys and wrote to them saying, you know, here is the link to Panda's policy on vaccination. If you write any articles alleging that we are anti-vax, we will be after you. And that was enough uh, for both the Times and the Financial Times to see to it that no article was forthcoming. But in many ways, the damage had been done. Just, you know, nakedly political stuff, nothing to do with whether anything that they'd said was true or false. It was simply, um, you know, casting aspersions on their characters and attacking them in a very kind of uh, unobjective and personal way. Are you making any headway? Yeah, I think we continue to make steady progress. Our influence continues to accrue, and that's our objective. So as long as we're doing that, the odd little knock and bump along the way is not going to deter us. Everybody seems to forget that we were told under no uncertain terms that the third wave was going to start on the Easter weekend. And of course, no such thing happened. And so now we read again that there's going to be a third wave and it's going to be here and there and it's going to start then. And, you know, I think this stuff is uh, is really getting a little bit silly. (laughs) 